Hi everybody, Maria here. I hope you guys are doing great today. Today is Thursday and it is December 7th, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful December so far. I am here with my next journal that I made and this is using um, one, of, one of the Medieval Mirage kits. I want to say it's called Illuminated something. Do I have any of the kit here? I should have prepared better, right? I know I have some of it in the folders. Yup, yup, yup. Here we go. Um, it is, oh, there we go. Illuminated Botanicals and then the add-on as well. And I'm also using one of uh, Took, Took's craft table, uh, one of her kits too. And it's, um, it's one of her basic um, page kits. It's not a journaling kit, background page kit. So here we go. And this is just sorry silk that I have wrapped it with. On the cover, I have some fabulous fabrics that I got at the thrift, the quilting thrift store. Love these. I think these were actually curtains here. Um, there we go. And then some lace and some tatting and a yo-yo. That's vintage and that's vintage. I don't know about the laces. This one's only tacked down here and here because otherwise it'd be too hard. Okay, so here we go. We have a big lace pocket here and here on either side. It is a no-show binding. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then we have this blue ticking that holds the binding in right there. It's about a one and three quarter ish spine. And then we have this vintage here, uh, fabric here as well. Here is the inside first page. I've got lace throughout. And then here we go. So here is a vintage piece of ledger. We've got some lace down here with a piece of the ephemera. And then the paper clip is holding this in. So this, is, and then I stenciled here. I wonder if I can go in just a little bit more. Okay, I stenciled a piece of washi, faux washi. And then this has got a letter in here. This is laced with, lined with tea dyed paper. I tried to line a lot with either craft paper or tea dyed paper. Here is a pocket and this is on a piece of uh, a vintage book that had vegetable stuff in it. So a piece of ticking, a Roxy Creation label, a couple of tags. This one has the belly band on it and then with this little tag in the belly band. Okay, and then we have this. This is some faux, that, that Italian paper, I can't remember what it's called, but it's faux, it's printed with some lace on it. On this side, we have a handmade pocket with some lace on it and a label. And then we've got this guy. It's got acetate in it. You can write on either side. And then it has got a tag on it with tea dyed paper on the back and a tab, that's fun. Then you got this piece from the kit that you can just write on. And these are printed, tea dyed on the back of these. And then we've got some French music paper and we've got this tag. This is Took's craft table, that paper. And then this is the Medieval Mirage, the print on front, you know, this little square. And then we've got one of these tuck spots and you can write in this corner here. This is two signatures in case I haven't said so. Okay, this is Took's paper. I just love it. It's so vintagey. It's so pretty and it matches so much. Then we've got this little flip out. We've got a ticking tab here and then these fold out and then you can journal there. And then in the back here, we have a journaling card. Okay, and I sewed on a lot of the tags and journaling cards, but not all of them. Okay. This paper here that you can barely see, but you'll see it in another page is from the late 1800s. Okay, and this side I just covered. And then here is some of the kit, some of Took's paper, a faux washi. Okay, this is a um, side tuck with a couple of journaling cards in it. Oh, this one's a postcard from the kit. This is a journaling card. And that's got a paper clip here with some trim. And then this just opens up like that and that so that you can go ahead and journal on that if you'd like or put anything in there that you'd want to put. Cute little tab. And we've got some lace down here. There's from the kit. That's the middle of the first section. And then we have this one here. 
I didn't want to put something like this in the middle because the middle is more busy. You know, you, if you're thinking, what can I do on those middle pages? Well, for one, with this kit, you can write around in the middle, or you can put things like pictures with, with staples or with paper clips or just glue them flat on top if you want. So that's what you can do with pages like that. Here is this one. We've got the double pockets, and in this one we have these two. So we've got lace, and then this is sari silk. Okay, those two. And I put things back because, you know, I just don't think that I'll remember well enough. We've got a big Rachel from Roxy Creations tag here. She has wonderful tag kits. And then these two guys here. And then we've got this. We just got a little piece of lace and then a, p a piece of um, ephemera from the kit. We've got some more Tooks Fabulous Paper, and then we've got this from the kit, and it just opens like that. That's lined with that 1800s paper that just folds in like that. And we've got this. This is some more of that 1800s paper. It's uh, put together with washi on either side. And again, just put something on top of it, put what you want on top of it. Then this is Tooks paper that I turned into envelopes. And then here we've got a journaling card. And here we've got a journaling card. Those are both from the collection, the Medieval Mirage. And then I used some Velcro and I did this. I backed it with some craft paper. And then again, same thing. And you've got these cute purple plants. I wish I could remember the name of all the flowers. I have I know the name of that one. I just can't remember it right now. And then again, those were lined. Okay, and then Tooks paper and the other side of the music paper. Okay, some more of that. I think that's just the other side of that faux Italian paper. Okay, the other side of the vegetable paper with a nice tag, uh, label. And you've got this tag and this tag. Then you've got this lovely guy. He's glued right to the page and it's got acetate and I stenciled on the back. And then you've got this big, beautiful tag. Lots of journaling space. You can even fit a picture on that guy. Okay, then the other half of the ledger, and that folds out, and it's got a tab. Sorry, I keep moving. Try to move my light a little bit this way. Then I stenciled on this page, and then that's the end of the first signature. And then here's the second signature. Okay, we've got the same thing, and we've got a side tuck on this side, and then it'll be a fl uh, flip out on the other. Again, sorry, silk. Okay, and that one goes that way. Then we've got Tooks paper, and then we've got this little tag set and some washi. So we've got this tag, and we've got this tag. And then on the side of that, this has got a side tuck here, and we've got another one of these cute guys. Such a wonderful collection of this medieval mirage stuff. And then Tooks stuff just complements it so well. Got some lace up here. This is just a journaling spot I added here, and then this does that. And this is a tri-fold tag with journaling on the opposite side. So that is part of an envelope, and then you just fold it over this way, and then this is gonna do that. This is a piece I got from an impressionist book. I love it, it's so pretty, it's got so many things. You can journal, you can add things, you can write in Sharpie right on top of it. Some more of the faux Italian paper. I wish I could remember the name of it right now, but I am just blanking. Okay, some of this ledger. And then this is a double, actually a triple pocket. So you've got a pocket here with this guy in it. And then this back one's a little tricky. You've got a pocket back here, okay? And then you have a pocket here, and then this has got that. Okay, so this one's just right behind the two pockets. Then you got this guy here, and then you got this guy here. I love that one. And then this is just some more of the, uh, what do you call it? Silk, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, sorry. <laughs> All right, then we've got this. So there's plenty of room for journaling and adding pictures or whatever you want. And this is, um, it was from an encyclopedia and it's Greek stuff, tag and label. Okay, the other side of that, 
same thing. Journaling spot. Oop, our little corner bent a little bit. No big deal. Okay, and then we've got these two pockets with some little tags in them. Just something simple. And then we've got, you know, cute little fabric pieces and lace on that. The other half of the Monet. I don't know if it's Monet. It's Impressionist, though. We've got a pocket here with some lace, a journaling card, and a tag. Sorry. Sorry, Silk. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, Silk. <laughs> then we've got this, another one of these pockets here with the uh, acetate, a tag, and then it's also a tuck. There it is. That. So these are all the some of the pretty red flowers in this collection, and I stenciled on this page. Then we've got just a little tuck here. I can't I remember where I got these cards from. I want to say it was Graphics Fairy. Then we've got this. We've got a belly band. I'll take the cards out so you can see them and show you. So I just layered tons of these cards on it. I saw that idea from Gail doing die cuts, and I just did cards. And then here are your two things in there tag and a journaling card and then we have this guy here he's a little side pocket with a journaling card and a tag as well again if you've got tea dyed paper in my books I did it myself so just so you know so then we've got the last page and the pocket and then here is the back there is the spine I think that is cute how that landed on there top so that is my journal. This, this is my most current journal. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you're interested in purchasing that, you can email me at mariasnookdesigns at yahoo.com, but it will go in my Etsy shop very soon. So thank you guys so much for taking a look. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.